or had ties to the Ku Klux Klan. That's why they want the name changed. The proposal is to call it Burlington Street. This, is, this issue is the talk of the Brady District. All but one person we talked to is in favor of the change. I think it's important given all the racial uh, tensions that have taken place here in Tulsa. I don't think they should. You know, I think it'd be great to change it. If some are finding it offensive, take away the offense and rename it. Again, the meeting here just got underway. I'm about to head inside. Tonight at 10, I will tell you what the counselors decide. Live in downtown Tulsa, Dan Perlman, 2 News, works for you. Thank you, Dan. Also in a 2 News crime alert tonight, a University of Tulsa student is out of jail after posting bond this afternoon. 22-year-old Brian Heck now faces two counts of peeping Tom after police say a woman caught him videotaping her in a fitting room. 2 News reporter Liz Bryant is live at Super Target in South Tulsa with some new information for us. Liz? Karen, police tell us that Heck videotaped four different women using a pen just like this, except his obviously had a video camera in it. Now, police also tell us that he held this pen at the top of the fitting room, moving it around until a woman caught him inside Super Target. Now, what happened next is that the woman put her clothes back on and went into the stall next door where she held, found where she found Heck standing on a chair videotaping her. The suspect dropped the pen and Target called police. Now, today I talked to a woman on the phone who was also trying on clothes when this happened. She says the victim started screaming. Are you videotaping me? I'm glad you uh, I'm glad I caught you and you weren't videotaping my daughter. Here's what target shoppers have to say today. Who knows? I mean, they're going around filming under people's skirts and in dressing rooms and in tanning salons. I mean, it's got to stop somewhere. Hope now, the fitting rooms are open to both males and females. Right now, the manager on duty tells me there's always a fitting room attendant, but they don't train attendants to watch for peeping toms. Therefore, she didn't suspect anything. In South Tulsa tonight, Liz Bryant, 2 News, works for you.